Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. I want to take a second to welcome you to Monday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We're bringing you the message of faith approximately five minutes a day, five days a week. I want to start today's broadcast with a question and it's this. When you feel inadequate, when you don't know what to do, maybe feel like you can't go on, how should you respond? What is the appropriate response in situations like that? I'm sure you felt like that. I've felt like that at times. Inadequate. I don't know what to do. I can't go on. How should you and I respond when that's going on in our lives? Well, Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 is a very familiar verse. So let's take a look at it. It says this, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You see, friend, no matter what situation you're in, no matter how uh, inadequate you may feel, no matter how big these feelings are of that you can't go on and you don't know what to do, with enough grace from God, with enough strength from God, you can overcome anything. (laughs) That's good news, isn't it? You can get through anything. You can walk in victory in any situation. So maybe you are going through a difficult time today. Maybe you are going through a trying time. Maybe you feel inadequate. Maybe you feel weak. Maybe you feel like you can't go on. I want to encourage you today. With enough grace from God, with enough strength from God, you can not only get through it, you can walk in victory and overcome it. Now, this is an always right response in any situation. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I call it the always right response. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I want you to try to say it one time, friend. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You see, friend, many people have put that verse on t-shirts. Many have put it on their bumper stickers or on their hats. But putting on a bumper sticker isn't going to do anything for you in your life. And putting it on a hat doesn't mean that it's going to work in your life and produce results. The only way that you're going to see that verse work for you and produce in your life is you're going to have to believe it and you're going to have to say it and you're going to have to do that at times when you feel inadequate. You're going to have to do that at times when you don't know what to do. You're going to have to say it and believe it when you feel like you can't go on. And if you'll do that in those situations, you'll see the working of that verse in your life and the strength of God and the grace of God will come upon you, come in you and cause you to get through what you didn't think you could get through, cause you to overcome what you didn't think you could overcome. Friend, it'll be a great help for you. And it's the always right response. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Maybe you're dealing with an addiction today. You know what the right response is? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Maybe you're being overcome with feelings of worry and thoughts of worry today. You know what the right response is? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Maybe you're having a problem in your marriage today. You know what the right response is? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can be the husband that God's called me to be. Maybe if you're a woman and you're watching, I can be the wife that God's called me to be. This response will work in any situation. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But if it's going to work for you, you're going to have to believe it and you're going to have to say it. Now, I want to show you this verse in a way that maybe you haven't seen it before. In Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, it says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. That's the King James Version. Well, those of you that are English scholars, you know that the correct word there if they're talking about Christ the person, would be to use the word who. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that's what a lot of modern Bibles, modern Bible translations say. But the King James Version says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And that's because the word Christ is not just dealing with Jesus the person, but it actually means the anointed one and his anointing. You see, Jesus operated as a man in the earth. Even though he was God and he is God, he was operating as a man. Who, a man who was anointed by God, who was strengthened by God, who was empowered by God. Acts chapter 10 said that he was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. 
So what Jesus did, he's not doing it as God. He's doing it as a man anointed by God. And see, Jesus was tested. He was tempted and he was tried. But he was so strong that he never yielded, and never gave in to any temptation. And what this verse is saying is that the same stuff that strengthened Jesus and empowered Jesus to, to be strong enough to never yield and never cave in under any pressured situation, the same stuff that was strengthening him, friend, is the same stuff that's strengthening me and you today. So when it says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me, you could say it like this. I can do all things through the anointed one and through his anointing, which is empowering me and strengthening me today. As we're closing today, friend, I want to remind you of these three things. Number one, no matter what you're facing today, with enough grace and enough strength from God, you can overcome it. Number two, the always right response is this. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And number three, the anointing that was strengthening Jesus is strengthening you today. Let's pray. Father, I thank you today, Lord, for everybody watching the broadcast, and I release my faith over them, and I thank you that they are being strengthened today by the power of your might. I thank you that they are being strengthened today by your anointing, and I thank you, Lord, that they can do all things through Christ and through his anointing, which is strengthening them in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for Tuesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.